just feet away. Eyewitnesses report seeing a creature seven to eight feet tall and up to 300 pounds. It's very muscular, with a chest approximately three feet across. Its body is covered with a coat of long, reddish brown or black hair, and it moves quite fast on two feet. In 1972, the movie The Legend of Boggy Creek was a depicting actual events. They unfolded at a rural home near Falk on Saturday night, May 1st, 1971. The film features a three-toed man-like ape, over eight feet tall, that terrorizes local residents. In the movie, law enforcement officials and local hunters track the beast, but to no avail. The Boggy Creek Monster seems to be a swamp monster that's ape-like. Renowned cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman describes the real terror that gripped the area. It really stirred up people. It became uh, very enraging, but also very frightening. It was in the newspapers. We thought it'd be a two or three day story, and it would go away. And, and then it made the wire services. Dave Hall, a local newsman, drove to Falk to investigate. I got a call one morning from a doctor at the emergency room that, that I knew, and he said, I've got a guy down here that says he was attacked by a monster. The man's name was Bobby Ford. He'd been visiting his brother Don at his rural home just north of Falk. And so we went off down to Falk, and by the time we got there, the Ford family had a U-Haul trailer backed up to the front porch, and they were putting furniture in as fast as they could get it in, and they said, we're getting out of here before dark. Earlier, Don's wife Elizabeth had been threatened by the creature while home alone. outside and Bobby Ford went outside his family had brought him to the hospital and uh, he was most definitely in shock Don Ford and a friend, Charles Taylor, 